Happy Friday! And for us here in Harnett County, North Carolina, it is spring break eve, which means next Friday there will not be a new 60 Seconds to a Better Brand episode because we will be on vacation. But as you know, I have just released my free branding master class, Psychology 101 for small business owners. It takes about an hour to complete um, to go through all four lessons. Um, and what it does is it introduces the fundamentals of psychology, of human behavior and motivation, and it shows you how to incorporate those principles into your brand strategy. Because as we know, we are trying to connect with people. People are the ones that buy our stuff. So we need to make sure that we understand them on a very human level. So today, let me get my, didn't prep my timer here. Let's start the timer. And we're going to talk a little bit about, um, Actually, I'm going to combine three of the lessons in the master course in this 60 second video. Here we go. Timer starts now. All right. Cognitive psychologists say that we use a mental framework called a schema to help us process information. Schemas are derived from past experiences and they help us process information from our environment quickly because there's a lot of stuff coming in all the time. We also have basic human needs that either create emerging desires in us or we experience a deficit in when certain things happen in our lives. This is all coming from Maslow's hierarchy of needs. So achieving these needs or filling that deficit motivates us to act and influence on our behavior. Like I said, we're not selling people whatever our product or services are. We're selling them this need, this emerging desire, or this need that they have. Archetypes are part of what Carl Jung calls the collective unconscious. Basically, they're schemas that we're born with. They're an eight. They're like in our DNA. Archetypes are the personification of the pursuit of our human needs. This is why they're so relatable. These personality prototypes are innately understood by people and they help us understand a brand quickly and instinctively. Well, oh well. I'm just going to keep going. They are stories that we've already heard and that we understand intuitively. This is why brand strategists always say to humanize your brand or to define your brand personality. Archetypes, <clears throat> excuse me, are guides in an effort to define your brand persona. They are your north, <clears throat> geez, they are your north star when determining how your brand persona speaks, behaves, and looks. Brand personality isn't just a way for people to like you. It's the way people relate to your brand and it's how they make an emotional level connection with your brand. But it's not just about you. Remember, we must include our audience at every step of our brand journey. Our archetype should match the emerging desire or need deficit in our audience. Remember when I said that you're not selling that product or service, you're selling that need. So what is it that you're actually selling them? Freedom, fulfillment, connection, status. Do they want to make a difference or evoke change? Are they looking for adventure, simplicity, the truth, acceptance? Are they seeking your transformation or growth? Your brand archetype should align with their core desire. That's how you build trust and become their guide, leading them to ultimately become a customer. Boom. There's a million resources out there on brand archetypes. Um, so when you're looking or taking any sort of quiz, I want you to remember that your archetype needs to align with your audience's core desire. Um, that desire that they have when they enter the why now moment in the decision-making process to ultimately become your customer. Um, so it's not just about you, but this is how all these different facets of human psychology all come together. So if you want to learn more, and I know you do, make sure you click the link in my bio and sign up for my free masterclass Psychology 101 for small business owners. Have a great weekend.